This is a video on how to create a run Linux entirely from a USB flash drive using live USB. We're going to be using UNet boot in to do the job. Now, what is a live USB? Live USB is basically the same thing as live CD, apart from that's running from the flash drive instead of running from a CD, which will be much faster. Live USB allows you to boot up your operating system, your Linux operating system, as if from the USB, as if you have already installed it. You can make changes to your system, um, mess around, install, uninstall applications, but all the changes will be um, forgotten after you have after each reboot. But it will be useful to run Linux from any s any computers without any installation. Now I have made a video on this before. Run Linux from USB flash drive. No, whoops, whoops. This video is showing you how to do just that on Windows. So I'm going to be showing you how to do it on Linux. Now download unit button by clicking this bit or click specific distribution packages. Once you click it, you you'll be put into uh, there'll be an instruction on how to add repositories to for installa insta installation and all that you just click your Ubuntu version add this bit to system administration software sources and under third party software just click add at the button and then add each of this one by one and then read this on how to authenticate your um, software bank your uh, what's it called your A your apt which are basically these lines so read this uh, I'll, I'll put it in the description on how to do it by executing this command from terminal and then just reload click reload on software sources then go to system administration synaptic package manager yep. search for unit button and then just right click mark for installation hit apply install other packages to unit booting and then after you've got unit booting unit booting you also need a program called gparted now gparted is default on is installed default on ubuntu on other distributions search through your p software or package manager launch gparted Right after you have launched Gparted, note the size of your um, flash drive, which will be important, and just click the flash drive which has the exact size as your um, flash drive. So this one is only 61 megabytes. However, it will not. It will. It won't probably work. But this is a demonstration because I don't have that many big flash drives. What you need to do is right click, whoops, right click, make sure it's already unmounted. If not, right click and mount, then just right click again, format to. Now, note the file system. If it's FAT16, then format it to FAT16. If it's FAT32, format it FAT32. If it's not FAT, then I guess go with the default if it doesn't work form it again with FAT so FAT32 hit apply confirm and it has already been formatted that's how you format your drive now launch the unit button this really neat tool this is selected on default 
this is when you don't have the currently have the ISO image of your distribution and you want to download it before um, creating a live USB if you ha or have already got a disk image your ISO image select this option browse for your sys for your um, ISO image Now note that not all ISO images have live CD feature so it is great to check with a distribution forum or whatever that whether the ISO image of your distribution has live CD so I'm gonna install Fedora XFCE and as you can see it's there after that select your drive now your drive you need to launch Gparted again. It is a little bit more complicated than Windows because it doesn't say um, C drive, D drive, or whatever. Note the size and then note the label. My one is this one, so it must be SDC. Dev SDC. So that one. Then just click OK. But yeah then it will create a live USB after it has it will take a while though depending on the size of your um, ISO image it will extract all the files from the ISO image into your, li into your flash drive then install the bootloader after that you can just reboot your system and while your system boots up hit F8 a bunch of times until a BIOS prompt comes up um, select uh, flash drive, the module of your flash drive from the BIOS prompt then you boot up into the live USB Whoa! so that's basically it for me <laughs> and since my USB drive is very small I can't really show it you'll get an early message so that's how you create a live USB or Linux. If you have any problems, please comment or ask me. And thank you for watching my video. Please comment, rate, and subscribe.